Hi, Nick Duffy here from MMG Golf and Nick Duffy Golf here to talk a little bit about um, quality practice and a little bit of what you need to work on. Um, so I've done a video before talking a little bit about what I need to work on pattern-wise to help, uh, help my game. Um, I, so I just wanted to set up a little drill to show you something, something with my pattern, a little too far inside and then a little too far out on the way down and what we would do or how I would set up a drill for one of my players to work on. Um, so you can see this two alignment sticks I got here, one on the outside of the ball, probably I'd say, you know, maybe about uh, two feet, and I got one just back here. Um, the one back here is going to be more for my plane going back and down. Uh, a bad tendency I do tend to get is I roll sometimes, and then I drop under. So if I did that, I would definitely drill this stick coming down, and then if, when I get that move going, I get too far into out. So, for me setting up this type of drill and working on it and trying to get my plane a bit better by getting barriers in the way and giving me something to miss on the way down and then repping the heck out of it is a good way for me to work on it. So, what my I think I'm missing this stick going back and I'm going to miss this one going through. Um, a good advantage of this one too, that right stick for someone like me who tends to push, push the ball out, I'll drill that stick sometimes if I do it wrong. Um, I may include that in my, my blooper outtake here, but uh, for sure, whenever you're doing these type of drills, the biggest focus is you're trying to make a pattern change by slightly changing your path and missing the barriers. You're not trying to just hit perfect shots. So, once again, for someone that's a hook, and it should work out pretty well for you during your swing change. Hi, Nick Duffy here from Nick Duffy Golf and MMG Performance. Here to talk a little bit about the opposite way, which you would see um, players need to set up a station. So earlier I talked a little bit about a hook station, or someone tends to drop it too far inside, what type of station they would build. Um, this one's more for someone that gets a little steep or cuts across it too much. So what you'll see a lot of times out of people who can't draw the ball, even better players, is there's either they're coming down steep and they're getting too far out this way, the sweet spot kicked out of the club, and they got to swing a bit left to save the shot, or and they get about right here and instead of actually going a little bit more down the line the sweet spot they'll just drag it left and kind of cut across it and wipe it so that's kind of more of a better player miss from this place but you'll see that normally with with better players who are all of a sudden hitting the ball really short um, can't quite figure out why um, you'll normally see a open face coming down and then their effort to wipe it or cut across it is just basically trying to you know save the shot by path um, so the reacting to the path, um, sorry, reacting to the club face by trying to swing so far left of the path. So that's where you're going to see the better player hit a shot that maybe ends up, you know, 20 yards short of the normal, um, a lot of short right shots, and not quite being able to get all they can out of the shot. So that's normally a better player miss from here. So I set this little station to kind of help, help me out with this. Um, this one's an easy one for me. It's like cheat mode, being able to swing a little into out. Um, the other way, the other drill I did with the uh, hook path, that one's a way more difficult one. But uh, overall, hopefully this will help out the people who are struggling a little bit with either short shots, you know, from basically swinging too far left and cutting across it, or the slicers who tend to get the club too far kicked out and then don't swing much down the line.